five steps to upgrade your web app from Axum 0.6 to Axum 0.7. First, in your cargo to ML, have your Axum from 0.6 to 0.7, Tower HTTP from 0.4 to 0.5, and if you use Tower Cookies, from 0.9 to 0.10. Press save, and obviously we are going to have some compile errors. So first is how we start our server. So now we don't use the socket address anymore. We're going to create a listener and that is going to be a TCP listener and make sure that you import from Tokyo. And then we're going to bind with an address. I'm going to do a 127.0.0.1 to just have the loop back, such as external call cannot reach my web server. We can also put 0.0.0, .0 but that will open to all of the network, which sometimes might be okay. But if you just want to have a loop back, meaning just your computer, 127.0.0.1. And then we put our port number, 8080, and we do the await and the unwrap. And that is almost the only place where I allow unwrap, because if the server doesn't start, then there is nothing else that we can do. But even then, eventually I might remove that. Now for our info line, we're going to do our listener local address. We're just going to do debug, that would be good. And now this line is fixed. And now that is the simplest of all. We just select that, remove listener and press save. And that's it. This one is fixed. You might want to clean up some of the imports, but this file compiles now. The third step is going to be now middleware. So the signature changed a little bit in our middleware function. So first, the next doesn't take a generic anymore. And the request, which now we have this error, actually take a type of body. And that is the Axum body body. So now Axum exposes its own body type and doesn't expose the body type from HTTP body crate. And the backstory of that is that Axum depends on hyper and HTTP body. And both of these crates have adopted a very good strategy of actually narrowing down into their core function and putting the types that might change in the future into their dash utils. So we have hyper dash util and we have HTTP dash util. So the strategy now of these libraries say that the HTTP body crates and the hyper crates are going to be very stable. And for the higher level things that might change over time, they are putting it in util. And so Axum want to make sure that is as future-proof as possible. And since the body type of HTTP body is inside the HTTP body util, then Axum created its own type, which it would make sure to maintain for a long time. So that is a very good strategy. And in many ways, that is a very unique attribute of the Rust ecosystem. So rather to have libraries that try to do more and more and frameworks that try to be bigger and bigger, things tend to focus on their core functions and making sure that things can be composable for higher level crates to compose higher functions. Now, step four is not directly related to Axum, but some of the towers libraries might have some deprecated API, and that is one. Now we don't use cookie name. We either use the cookie build or the cookie from. So we're going to use cookie from. And then this one is clean now. Now, the last one will require two steps. First, in your Axum response or request, we have a way with extensions mute to insert some data, and those are stored by type. But now there's a new requirement in the Axum.0.7, and that is for good reasons, but the data that is inserted needs to implement the clone trait now. So what we could do is have RPC info implementing clone, but sometimes it's not appropriate to do that. And in our case, even we put some errors inside the response extension, such as later we can split them and it wouldn't make sense to put all of the errors clone. So that is where arc can come to the rescue. So we do an arc new and that will still work because arc is a type. So that will compile fine. And now we need to be careful because this is dynamic meaning that when we're going to extract it, if we extract RPC info, it's not going to work because the thing that we put in the type hash map is arc of RPC info. So for example, in this function, we're taking our response from Axum, we're getting the extension, and we get 
the RPC info. So if we go to type, we're going to get an option of reference of RPC info. But now we didn't put RPC info, we put the arc of RPC info. And therefore, that will always return known. So rather to ask RPC info, we're going to ask arc of RPC info. We make sure to import it. But now our type over there is an option of reference of arc. And in our code below, we might expect option of reference of RPC info. So the only thing we need to do is to do a map of arc of asref. Press save, toggle the type, and we get our option of reference of RPC info. And so everything is good. So we're going to do the same thing there, because actually we also did that. And now all the code should work very nicely. Okay, so that should be what you need to update from axiom 0.6 to 0.7. And I updated the source code of both the Rust Axiom full course and the Rust web app production coding. They have their own commits. You can check it out. I'm back. Until next one, happy coding.